winter weather got your hair feeling a little dry and frizzy? Hi, I'm Maddie and I'm here in the AFI DIY lab to show you guys how to make these hair repair conditioner bars. They're the perfect recipe to bring some shine back into your damaged locks. Let's start by adding the bulk of our ingredients into our mixing container. First up is shea butter, coconut oil, avocado oil, cocoa butter, and castor oil. Follow this up with a BTMS 50 and acetyl alcohol flakes. Finally, add in the Panthenol 100, which will give our hair a super sleek and silky feel. Now we can place a mixing container in our prepared double boiler to melt everything down. Stir it occasionally as it melts to keep everything uniform, and don't forget to scrape the sides of the bowl every now and then too. When everything has been liquefied, we can remove it from the heat and add our final ingredients. First, we need a preservative. Even though this formula doesn't contain any water, it will be used in the shower and will likely get wet through its use. Add that in and give it a good stir. I thought our bergamot fragrance would be great in this formula because it smells super uplifting and bright. I'm just gonna dump it in and stir everything one last time, then we can fill our molds. I chose these classic disc molds that fit easily into the palm of the customer's hands when they use it. All that's left to do is to pop the molds into the freezer so the bars can solidify and be unmolded. I'll catch you guys in just a few moments when they're done and they're ready to go. Hey guys, our conditioner bars are done. These little guys are super handy for on the go and reduce the need for plastic packaging. And did I mention they smell amazing? So to use them, simply wet one under the shower and rub into your hair, focusing to your mid and ends. Avoid your roots so they don't get too oily. And is as simple as that. So, each two ounce bar only costs about a dollar to make, meaning they could be sold wholesale for two to four dollars and retail for six to twelve dollars, depending on the fragrance and additives that you choose to use. And that basically wraps up today's AFI DIY. Thanks so much for tuning in and we hope this video helped you make your very own conditioner bars. If you have any questions about the tutorial or anything fragrance related, drop the comments down below and we'd love to help you guys out. As always, I'm your girl Maddie and I can't wait to catch you guys in the next one real soon. Bye!